Hey guys, what's up? This is Sparks, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to install the Not Enough Items mod for 1.5. So Legendary Mods here has asked me uh, three days ago. I'm kind of behind, sorry about that. But anyway, um, he has asked me to install the Not Enough Items mod, so I wanted to show his picture right there. And suggest, if you guys want me to install mods, please leave uh, a comment in the comment section and let me know what you guys would like, and I'll check it out. Um, so anyway, I'm going to get to installing this mod. Um, but first, I do kind of want to uh, re re redirect you. If you guys don't know what Not Enough Items is or you guys want to know what it is, I do have a mod review, and you guys can click on this link right up here in the top left-hand corner so you guys can check that out first if you guys don't know what it is. But anyway, um, to get started, um, to actually install this mod, um, you are going to need Forge, and so Forge, and you're also going to need the Code Chicken Code Core. So first thing I want you guys to go is check out the link in the description that says Not Enough Items for 1.5. Um, so it'll take you right to this link, and you're going to see this thing right here. So this is the code chicken core. This is required um, for all his mods, but anyway, this is the guy. So first thing I want you guys to do is click show, so just a spoiler, and download this for 1.5, and save it to your desktop as an executable jar file. So make sure when you save it to your desktop, it looks just like this. Um, so the code chicken core right here, and it is type an executable jar file. Make sure it is that way, and save it to your desktop just like that. Um, so anyway, the next thing you can do, you can hide that again after you save the code chicken core. Um, you're going to see this not enough items right here. So you just click show and you're going to scroll all the way down to installation and download. So if you click right here on not enough items uh, for all NI, NEI functionality, download right here. So once that is done, you guys can download both of those onto your desktop just like that. And the correct Minecraft Forge link that will work with Optifine, um, it will, will be my link in the description. It will be, just be a direct link so you guys don't have to click on anything but just download from there. So that will be the link you'll need. Um, Optifine, I'm going to show you guys how to install Optifine also, but just for, I'll kind of like uh, uh, let you guys know, Optifine is not required for this mod. Optifine is only a mod that is, uh, it helps with your Minecraft lag a lot. So like if you guys have a lot of issues with lag, Optifine will help you greatly. Um, but anyway, Optifine is not currently up to, up to date with Minecraft Forge. So I gave you guys a special link for Minecraft Forge. It's actually from their website. Um, so you guys don't worry about that uh, if you guys are having problems with it just uh, let me know in the comments and I'll let you guys know as best I can but anyway once you guys have the link downloaded from Forge and also if you want Optifine if not then it's fine don't worry about it um, so yeah these are the three downloads that you guys absolutely need alright so let's get to in, uh, installing it okay so the first thing um, I'm gonna want you guys to do is go to Minecraft um, I want you to open Minecraft up go to options force up your game click done and log in the reason why we're forced updating in the game is because I have mods already installed and I don't know if those mods are actually compatible with the code chicken core not enough items or forge so the reason why I'm force updating my game is because um, again I don't know if those are compatible and if I install this Minecraft forge and the code chicken core and the not enough items I might get a black screen with those other mods already installed so with force updating my game I get rid of those other mods that are already installed and you won't have to worry about getting a black screen now if you guys are getting black screen um, because of this mod installation um, I only thing I can tell you is because you didn't install it right or you didn't force up to your game. Um, force up to your game to fix that black screen and restart this video exactly like I showed you. So anyway, once you are done force updating your game, you guys can click out of Minecraft. Make sure Minecraft is closed when installing mods. Okay, so finally just to get actually started putting them in the files. Okay, so on the bottom left hand corner, you're going to see percent app data percent right here. So if you guys go to start and you type into start uh, percent a p p d a t a that's percent app data and another percent you're going to see this roaming folder. But quick note, for Windows 8 users, you guys are either going to have to type in run or click run first, and then you guys can type in percent after percent, but I'm using Windows 7, so it's much easier. So anyway, just type in percent after percent, and you're going to see this roaming folder right here. So click on the roaming folder right there, and you're going to see this Minecraft folder on the very top. You're going to open this Minecraft folder, and you're going to see bin resources and saves, so you click on bin. And then you're going to scroll all the way down here, and you're going to see this Minecraft executable jar file right here. So if you just try to open this, it's not going to let you. So if you right click on it and open it with WinRAR, you are able to open it. Now, uh, if you guys don't already have WinRAR installed, you guys can click on the link in my description. So you guys can go down there and you guys can click on that link and install it for yourselves. Um, so once you guys have WinRAR um, downloaded and installed, you guys can get here. Um, so just make sure you guys go back and follow this video. Now, if you guys don't want to use WinRAR and you guys have 7-Zip, that is okay too. But I'm showing you guys how to use it with WinRAR. So... Anyway, well, once you guys have the Minecraft jar open with WinRAR, you guys can see this Meta Inf folder right here. So if you just scroll down, you're going to see this Meta Inf folder. 
Now you're going to want to right click on this. You're going to want to delete files. You always want to delete that meta inf. And once that's done, you guys are ready to go. Um, the reason why we deleted that is because meta inf does not allow mods to run. So anyway, once you guys have the meta inf deleted in the Minecraft .jar, the open within R, you are able to open Forge. So now Forge, you're going to move it over here, and you're going to see this meta inf here. Also, you don't want to delete that files though. So that just leave that. So if you just right click, select all, and just drag all these files into here, just like that. You guys are push OK, and you guys are done with the Minecraft Forge. Um, so you guys can just exit out of that. Again, um, Optifine is not required, so if you guys don't want to install it, that is perfectly OK. I'm just recommending it for lag. Now, because Minecraft lags a lot, and Optifine helps a lot with that. So if you guys open that, again, it's not required, so if you guys don't want it, just forget about this. So anyway, select all, and you just drag all these files into there, and push OK, and you're done with Optifine. Um, so again, um, Optifine was not, uh, it's not required, so I've had a lot of people say, wait, what's Optifine, all that? I'm just saying, if you don't know what it is, you don't want to have it, it's okay. Just forget about the Optifine, and we're done with that. So, once you guys have the Minecraft Forge and Optifine, if you wanted it, you guys can close this Minecraft.jar that you open within R. Now, we're not done with installation. I want you guys to click back right here. Now, I want you guys to go back to the bin resources and saves. Um, now, if you guys accidentally exited out of this, or you guys don't really know where I'm at right now, um, the way we got to this was with percent after the percent, and we went to the roaming, and then we went to the Minecraft folder, and this is where we see the bin resources and saves. So I want you guys to go back to that, and I want you guys to move it over here. Um, I have it over here because I want to show you guys what I'm going to do. So if you guys open Minecraft, and the reason why we're doing this is because it will create some new folders, because we have Forge um, installed. So if you guys log in, and... Go through all this Forge Mod Loader. Now you're going to see there's some extra files right here. Um, it's because of this Forge Mod Loader is setting up your Minecraft environment and it's adding some extra files. And these files are actually for the mods that we're going to install. So once you guys are, uh, once Forge is done and this Mojang screen is done, I don't really know why that takes so long. But anyway, uh, once you guys have that done, you're going to see three mods loaded, and three mods loaded, and three mods active. So if you guys just go to the mods folder, it's fine. Anyway, um, you're going to see some extra folders over here, and you guys are ready. So click out of Minecraft. You are done with Minecraft. Make sure it's closed when you guys are doing that. I just wanted you guys to open it so it will create some extra folders here. So you're going to see this core mods folder right there. You guys are going to want to open this folder. Now that's the core mods folder that we created with the with the forge when we logged in. Um, so you guys are going to select the code chicken core, and you guys are also going to select the not enough items. So you just select both of those, and you drag them both into there. And you guys are completely done with the installation, and you guys are ready to play the Not Enough Items mod. So, um, you just log back in, and you guys are ready to go. Um, so, if this mod is actually giving you a black screen, it's probably because you guys had mods installed already. And, uh, yeah, that's really the reason, because you guys already had mods installed, or you guys didn't install it correctly, like you didn't follow the video. Um, the only advice I can give you, first off, is to make sure you force up to your game. And if you've done that, and if you installed it incorrectly, just like I have done... Yeah, um, you guys are gonna see five mods, mods loaded, five mods active, and you guys. That means that the not enough items is ready to go. So, uh, all right. So you guys are ready, and you guys can play. Um, but like I said, if you guys are gonna black screen, it's because you didn't do it. Make sure you guys follow the video exactly like I did it. So, um, if this video helped you out, please leave a like in the comment or in the. I don't even know what's that. Please, please leave a like and on the video and subscribe for more mods. Thanks.